Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to get all of my videos delivered directly to your inbox. Steve Spagnolo fired tonight by the New Orleans Saints as their defensive coordinator. I just got done and posted a video on who I think could take his spot now that the Saints are installing a 3-4 defense. But I want to focus now on um, some possible landing spots for Spagnolo or one specific landing spot that I know is going to be heavily talked about, heavily rumored, um, because it seems like such a natural fit. You know, the whole coaching carousel has basically went around and around, and now it looks like it's almost coming to a stop. And one vacancy that's still left is the Philadelphia Eagles defensive coordinator's job. Uh, Ed Donatel was rumored to be considered for that job. No decision's been made yet. You're going to hear a lot of Philadelphia Eagles fans, people in the Philly media, uh, draw the line from Steve Spagnolo to that defensive coordinator job that's vacant in Philly. Remember, Spagnolo was an assistant under the late and brilliant Jim Johnson. And, you know, if you talk to any Eagles fans about those good teams they had uh, in, you know, in that decade of the 2000s there, you know, their defense was a formidable part of that. And Spagnolo was big in developing that defense into what it was, again, along with the late Jim Johnson, who I thought was an absolutely brilliant coordinator. So it's going to make sense. Todd Bowles left Philly to go take the Cardinals defensive coordinator job. Ray Horton is now in Cleveland making the Philly job vacant. And, um, you know, Spagnolo is a guy. He runs a 4-3. The Eagles personnel currently is 4-3 personnel. So from that perspective, it makes sense. Um, from his Philly ties, it makes sense. And I've been reading a little bit on Spagnolo, And, um, you know, he enjoyed his time with Philly. And it seems like um, if, you know, everything was right, if he, if he got along with Kelly, if he thought he could work there, um, you know, he would – uh, be interested in possibly returning to Philadelphia again if the situation was right from his point of view. I would assume he's going to be looking uh, to work. He was down at the Senior Bowl as of yesterday, uh, you know, fully donned in his Saints gear from what I was reading. So this is a guy who will definitely be looking to get back into coaching. Look for Philly to be a natural landing spot for him to do that. Uh, I was also surprised on Twitter, you know, just because Spagnola was trending and seeing the amount of New York Giants fans. Uh, who just wants Spags back automatically. They want him to take Perry Fuel's spot. You know, it's amazing. You know, you have Spagnolo, who was a defensive coordinator in 2007, uh, a defense that played great in the Super Bowl. You have Fuel, who was the defensive, Perry Fuel, who's the defensive coordinator now for the Giants. Just hatch a good game plan against Tom Brady last year in the playoffs, Aaron Rodgers last year in the playoffs. They're one year removed from a Super Bowl win. And already Giants fans want to jettison fuel for Spagnolo. If that doesn't show you how much this league can change year to year, season to season, you know, I don't know what does. But, you know, I don't look for the Giants to bring back Spagnolo as a coordinator, get rid of fuel. That's just, you know, Giant fans' uh, wishful thinking. But I think the Spagnolo to the Eagles um, is pretty much seeming like a natural fit right now. I certainly think he's a better fit than Ed Donatel and than any other coordinator they could be considering. Uh, there in Philly. We'll see if Chip Kelly feels the same way. We'll see if Howie Roseman feels the same way and Jeffrey Lurie, of course. But what I see here is the only reason they don't bring Spagnolo in is they want no ties to the Andy Reid era. If for whatever reason, and maybe Chip Kelly has a little bit of an ego to him, who knows? We just don't know at this point. It's all speculation. But does he not want any Andy Reid ties on this team or on this coaching staff? To me, that'd be the only reason why you wouldn't see Spagnolo get heavy consideration for the Eagles defensive coordinator job. But we'll see how it unfolds. Uh, Eagles fans, NFL fans, what do you guys think? Do you want to see Spagnolo with the Eagles? Do you think it's a natural fit? Uh, if he doesn't end up there, where do you think Spagnolo ends up at this point? Um, for the upcoming NFL, for next year, I should say, next year's NFL season. Uh, hit me up in the YouTube comments. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, at S News Analysis. And guys, I put up about two or three uh, sports talk videos a day. So subscribe to my page here. Subscribe to my channel, rather. And, uh, you know, you get all of them delivered directly to you. Thanks, as always, for listening, and have a good night.